Hi, Jackie. Um, all right. So once you've logged in, um, I don't know if you've done this yet, but if you click on the down arrow by your name, you have roster. And then all of your students should pop up. Um, I've gone ahead and um, put mine into hours so it's easier to see them. Um, so by class, if you haven't put them in hours yet, um, then you see it's blank here. If you just um, click on it, um, there's a drop down arrow, okay, or add a class so you can organize your students. So this makes a world of difference for me. So I like this a lot. I would definitely recommend it. Um, after that, after your students are all in classes, then um, if you click on learning at the top um, and language arts, then you're going to see all the different um, grades. So you can go down to 12th grade and you can see all 133 skills. Um, now, this is just one way to, to get them to do skills. Um, if you hover over something, um, it'll give you sample questions within that category. Um, the star on the left hand side, if you um, click the star, it's going to recommend it to all your students. But if you hover over it, then you can actually just do it to certain hours. And once you hover over the hour, you can actually just do it to stu certain students. Um, which you might not know, I, you probably know where your students are right now, but what I did right off the bat is I made my students, so once I have them all um, in there, um, I make them click on diagnostic themselves. Oh, wait, sorry. I know I'm all over the place. Sorry about that. Uh, in roster, the way to get the students to know their password is on the roster section, um, you can print student usernames and passwords. Um, so it's a list and then it will, uh, you could just give this to your classes if you want or individually let them know, but um, it's already made for them and they have to use this to get in. Um, and then also the username, if they just go to the regular IXL site, they have to put at brdiocese, um, afterwards, not dot com, just like par, uh, bore two at brdiocese and then their password. Um, so once they have this, sorry that I was all over the place, but once they have their passwords, then, um, tell them to go to diagnostic. And the students is going to look different. It's going to say, um, enter the arena. And then on the right hand side, most of the stuff that pops up for them is going to be math. But on the right hand side, there's going to be something that says, uh, language arts only, um, have them click on language arts only, and then have them do, um, questions for maybe about, uh, 15 to 30 minutes, um, until they get leveled. And that way you can see where they are. Like, for example, my phone is going crazy right now. For example, um, I'm just going to show you my, this is under an, analytics for me, for the, for the teacher, diagnostic overview. And then now, since I have them into classes, I could click on, I'll click on my slow class so you could just see. Okay, so um, this girl is not leveled currently because she's, um, she's answered so many questions inconsistently, so they can't tell exactly where her level is. It's between um, low eighth grade and high eighth grade. Um, for the, I think the top one's reading and the last one is, no, the top one's grammar and the last one's comprehension. Um, and 840 and 920. So that's mid eighth grade to early ninth grade. Um, but once they're leveled, they'll have dots and says, okay, this is exactly where they are. Um, but before you even recommend anything to them, you can have them do the diagnostic so that you can see kind of where their levels are. 
golly, a lot of these girls are all over the place again. Um, and anyway, doing the, the recommended stuff too will also help them to get leveled as well. So that's why my girls aren't leveled anymore. Um, but anyway, back to learning. So yes, you can go down and, and click on, um, the skills in this section. Okay. So there's lots of stuff here. Um, but even better for you is you can click on, um, up here under learning. It says view by grades, topics, or skill plans. If you click on skill plans and then, um, you click on test preparation. Okay, you could actually go to ACT English or reading um, skills. So, and then um, it does it by the score range. So you're looking for the higher scores for the um, upper levels. And again, um, if you hover, you can see kind of what the question is like. Um, and if you click on the yellow, it's going to be recommended to students, all of them. Or if you hover and then click which one students you want to um, have that skill recommended to. Um, and then one more thing I wanted to show you is under analytics. Okay, so this is on the teacher end. Um, what I do to see who's accomplished what. I just told everybody that we're Corona free. So everybody's messaging me back. So woo, Corona free, yay. We finally got our test results after 10 days. Um, anyway, under students, golly, sorry, turn that off. Under students, uh, student quick view. Okay, and it'll tell me students the week of. Um, so it does it from uh, Monday to Sunday as a week. Um, and then if I've recommended skills and I want to check that they've done it, um, it will, uh, appear here. Okay. Under this. Um, and then again, I've organized mine into classes. So this is my third hour. It just makes it a lot easier to check on them. Now the smart scores. Okay. I usually tell them to work to a smart score of 70. Um, 70 is retention. Okay. So they're retaining information. A smart score of 80 is, um, I forget the word they used, but uh, it means that you're pretty good at uh, remembering the stuff. I forget the word. Proficiency, I think, is what they used for 80. 90 is um, uh, above average, and 100 is mastery. Um, so to get 100, especially in those harder skills that you're doing, is, is really hard. So I would definitely not recommend 100, but like... Uh, if I recommend something, I say, oh, get a, a 70 smart score. Or if you want to get bonus, work to a 90 smart score or something like that. Um, so it'll tell you how many minutes it took for them to, to reach the score that they're at, how many questions they answered. Um, so you could see these kids are, are, are working. Um, like this girl to get the um, 86 smart score, she worked for 27 minutes. Um, so anyway, I think that'll get you started. Hopefully this was helpful and it wasn't too confusing. So hope to see you in the, um, in the coffee chat room thing soon. All right. Bye, Jackie.